Police arrested two teenagers in connection with costly vandalism at Paradise Junior High School. New tonight, Action News Now reporter Ryan Ketchum visited the school and spoke with parents to see how they're reacting to the destruction. The two teenagers are booked at Butte County Juvenile Hall after several incidents this weekend. Many members of school staff who did not want to be shown on camera tell me they cleaned up the mess and graffiti, but several parents say their children still saw some of it. Some racial slurs on some garbage cans and some broken glasses and I think that's about it, but yeah, not good. This is what the inside of the school looked like before it was cleaned up. They broke more than 10 skylights and several windows, graffitied walls with racial slurs, and spray painted many computers and phones. I'm glad they cleaned it up before the children seen everything. You know, it sounds like they seen some things that they shouldn't have maybe, but it sounds like the school did what they could to clean it up. Most parents tell me they are not too concerned with their children's safety after the arrests. I think that the police will take care of it. I hope they will, and my children will be safe here. I also reached out to Paradise Junior High School principal Larry Johnson, who says they will not make a comment at this time during the active investigation. And I called and emailed Paradise Unified School District Superintendent Tom Taylor several times, but have not received a message back. I will continue to reach out to them for a comment. I spoke with Paradise Police, who tell me they don't have any more information right now, but we will continue to work on getting more details. Reporting in Paradise, I'm Ryan Ketchum. Action News Now, coverage you can count on. Now, police say the arrested teens caused more than $30,000 damage to the junior high school and storage facility.